Okay, in the last video we looked at um, dealing with uh, when monsters collided or when we collided with a monster or the monster collided with us and we moved ourselves back to a particular point in the game um, and destroyed the current instance. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to look at um, the graphical user interface of the game, in other words, how we deal with scores, lives, health. Uh, so, for you, you have to make a decision on how you want your scores displayed, because you don't want to be using all of the things I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you, firstly, how to use um, um, in, uh, sprites in order to create um, a number of lives, so that could be a, a number of characters that you display on screen, or a number of hearts. I'm going to show you how to use a health bar. I'm going to show you how to use a scoring system, okay? So how you decide to go with that is entirely up to you. So um, I'm going to start, I'm going to show you each one individually, but I'm going to leave each one on the screen so you can see how they all look. So in order to do this, the first thing we need to do, and I've already done this, is to create a font, because we need to uh, have a font in um, Game Maker that we can use. So to create a new font, you're just going to right click on fonts, click create and font. You can select select between lots of different fonts. It's up to you which one you go with. Let's go down to. It's up to you to go through them and see which one you really want to do. Um, da, 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 da. Rockwell, that'll do. Okay, and then you just give that a name. So it's FNT underscore, and this is going to be called Game Font. I've already got one, so I'm not going to rename this. Okay, but you type in Game Font or whatever name you want to give it, and then close it down. Okay, so let's get rid of the one I've just created there. So the font that I've created, I'm going to use, is this one, okay? Which is a, um, I can't even read that, whatever font that is. Right, so uh, we can forget about the fonts for now. So the first thing that we're going to do then is to create uh, an object um, for the GUI. So we create the objects in the same way. So we right click on objects and we create a new object. But the important thing is the object will have no sprite, and that's super important. You have no sprite, okay? So OBJ again, underscore controller, because this is a controller in game. Underscore GUI, graphical user interface, okay? Right. Before we go any further, let's have a little look at the room and decide where we're going to have it. So I'm going to put my um, lives up the top here with the the icons. And then I'm going to look at a scoring system over this side, and I'm going to look at a health bar as well. Okay, so you'll be able to see how you use all of those features. So let's go back to the workspace. So the first thing that I wanted to do is add an event, and this is going to be a um, another event, and we're going to initialize the variables on the game start. So when the game is started, okay, we're going to set the following. We're going to set the num the lives two, three. So just put lives in the top here. Okay. And what you're looking for is this blue one here, set lives. Okay. So I'm going to set my number of lives to three. If you want to set it at five, five is fine. Okay. I'm going to close that down. We're going to come back to this because we're going to add to this later on. We're also going to add another event. I'm going to select a draw event because we want to draw the G, the, um, the interface to the screen. So we're going to draw GUI. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, again, type in live, because you want to display the lives. Okay. And you are looking at draw instance lives. Okay. So this is draw an instance of the lives. Um, I think that's the only one that's there. Yes. Okay. So we're going to draw an instance of the lives. We're going to choose the sprite. So I've already created a, uh, a sprite for this down here for lives. Okay, so I'm going to select the sprites. I'm going to choose lives. Okay, and now I'm going to decide where it's going to go. So I need to know where it's going to go. So I want it right at the very top. So I'm going to keep the Y at zero, but I want it to be halfway across the room. And there's a built-in variable called room width. Room width. Okay, so that will take the, the width of the room, okay? And if I do divided by two, that will put it midpoint in the screen. If I did divided by four, it'll put it a quarter of the way across the screen, okay? So that's an easy way of getting stuff into the center of the screen. So if I, um, I run this now, nothing will happen. 
The reason why nothing will happen is because I forgot to put the uh, controller into the game. So this is going to sound a bit strange, right? So when I go onto the room one and I drag in my controller object, you can see it there, okay? It doesn't matter where I put it because it's not, you're not going to see it. Um, that's better. Um, it doesn't matter where I put it because you're not going to see it. Um, but what is important is it, because all of the, uh, where, where the things are going to be put on screen are inside that controller object. So I could put it anywhere, okay? I can put it on the corner if I want to, I can put it anywhere. And now when I run the game, hopefully, it's going to display for me um, my lives in the center of the screen, which it does, okay? So it's at zero and it displays my three hearts at the center of the screen. So to change my number of lives, it's straightforward. I just go into my game start and say I wanted five lives, set it a five, and now when I run the game, I should start with five hearts and not three. Let's have a look. Brilliant. Okay. If I wanted to display this uh, number of lives that I've got as a text value, I can also do that. So um, what I'm going to start with is um, on my um, GUI event, okay, I've set three lives there. Um, I'm going to close that down and I'm going to come to the draw GUI. Okay, so this is where I displayed my instances of lives. So what I'm going to do here, underneath, firstly, I'm going to tell, uh, tell the software what font I want to use. So we created our game font, so I'm just going to type in font and it brings up my uh, set font. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that on the screen and I'm going to select the font that I want to use. So that's the game font that I created. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, look at the draw events that I've got. And this one that's T here allows me to specify or draw a value uh, in text form rather than images. So if I click and drag that on, there are a couple of stages to this. The caption is the bit that's, uh, that go, will go before the value. So if I change that to... Um, number of lives okay that's fine and the value that I'm going to use is going to be if I just type in lives it's a special command if I type in lives what you're looking for is this variable this underscore dnd underscore lives okay and that will keep that's the, the value that the game is currently kept as a um, value for your current number of lives I'm going to do uh, room uh, width again, divided by two, so it puts it in the center, and I'm going to bring this down, or shall I say 20, this is going to be a bit of trial and error. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that it's printed number of lives equals three. Okay, but it's not in the right place. So let's bring this down on the Y to 50. And let's see what that does. Okay, so it's nearly there. Um, and let's go back and let's bring it down 60. The other way I could do this, of course, is by making my heart smaller. And I run that. And now they're clear of that, okay? So this may not look centered, but this is centered according to the edge of my heart. Because when I created my hearts, I left my anchor point at the top. So if I had put my anchor point to the center, that would have solved that problem. Um, let's just go and check that, just to show you that is the case. So if I go onto my lives, my center point is up here, look. If I bring my center point down here, um, I'm gonna put it like that, because I want, the top of the heart to be at the top of the page, otherwise it'll come off the page. So we'll do that, and let's see how that looks. Okay, so you can see now that this is more centralized, okay? So that's how we add text values and uh, images for lives. Okay, to draw the score on the screen, um, it's sort of the same. Um, so I'm just going to show you how, how that's done. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the game start uh, event in our controller and we need to set the score. 
So again, inside here, we're going to type in score. And we're going to set the score. So there's a set in the score. So we're going to set the score to zero because we want the score at zero. Okay, so then we're going to come on to the GUI. And then we're going to come on to um, score. So we'll do a search for score to see what I've got there. Okay, and let's have a look. We've got draw instance score. So that's the one that we want. So underneath the draw value here, I'm just going to put draw instance score. So in the caption, like I said in the last time, it's uh, it's whatever's going to be displayed in front of the score. So if I put your score, your score, okay, I'm going to leave it at x0 and y0 because I want it at the top left-hand corner of the screen, and that's fine. So if I run the game now, hopefully that will display the score in the top left of my screen. Your score, zero. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is to show you how to draw a health bar. And like I say, you don't need to use all of these. Okay, and I wouldn't expect you to use all of them, but I'm just showing you just in case uh, you would like to use these um, features. So um, the next thing we're going to do then is to go back onto the game start, and I'm going to set my health value. So I'm going to type in health. Not in there. Let's get rid of that. I should have typed it in there. What I'm going to search for is on here health. Okay, so we've got set health. Okay, so I'm going to set my health. I don't know, let's just say 100 for my health. Okay, so I've set my 100 for my health. Then I'm going to go onto my draw GUI command, and underneath this one, I'm going to draw my instance for health. Okay, and that is draw instant instance health. So I'm going to drag that underneath. So there's a number of settings on here. Okay, um, you want the direction of your, you, you can set the direction of your uh, health bar to go anywhere you want. So you can you can play a bit with that. Um, the left and the um, right values. Okay, I'll, I'll fill in the values. I'll explain as we go. Okay, so I'll explain what these values do as uh, I show you on the screen. I'm going to set my left to 50, my top to 50, my right to 250, and my bottom to 30. Okay. And now I can set the colours. So you need to make sure you change these colours or you won't see your health bar. So the background, I'm going to set mine to black, and the outline, I'm also going to set to black. The minimum colour, which is when I start getting running out of energy, I'm going to set to red. And my max colour, okay, that's when I have full health, I'm going to set to green. Okay, so let me just draw, let me just close this down. And just run this to show you how this works. Okay, so there's my health bar. Okay, so I could move this over this way a little bit. So uh, that's going to be, let's see what changing these numbers does. So if I change the left to 10 and then run it. So now my health bar's moved over, okay? So that left affects where, it, where the left position of your um, health bar. Right, so let's have a look at uh, the right then. Let's change the right to 110. That should make the health bar smaller. Okay, so that's made my health bar smaller, so that's a bit better. Uh, if I change the top to... Let's change the top to 60 and see what that does. Actually, let's change it to 100 and see what it does. So that's doubled the thickness of my bar, okay? So we don't want to do that. So let's put that back to 50, and let's put the bottom, let's, what if we did 10 on the bottom? Let's have a look. Okay, so again, that makes it thicker, but it makes it, uh, it brings it up above my score, so we don't want to do that. So let's just leave it at 50-50. Or 50-30, it was, sorry, not 30. 
So uh, when we're looking at the health bar then, the bottom of the health bar is the 30 and the top of the health bar which is this side is the 50. So it's the thickness between. So if I lowered the, um, the 30 to say 25, let's see what that does. If I lowered that 30 to 25, um, it would take it closer towards the score but give me a thicker bar. Okay, so that's how that works. So on the screen then you've got lives, you've got a text version of lives, you've got your score, and you've got a health bar. So those things are in a GUI. So that is how you create a scores and lives system. I'll, and further on into this tutorial series, I will show you how um, we use this, uh, this GUI to update the scores, uh, lives, health, etc. Uh, in the game.